We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series action figure review. Uh, the next one in my last in my couple of Andor related uh, videos, again, just sort of playing catch up with a couple of figures that I've missed earlier on in the year. We're looking at Cassian himself, Aldani Mission number one. An interesting sort of figure to choose for the opening release first wave of the series, I guess. Um, given that some of the other main characters that we've seen came out a little bit later. Uh, it wasn't too far later, but yeah, it was definitely definitely later than this first wave. A picture of uh, Diego Luna as Cassian there on the side. City is number one. Brief little uh, bio on the back, which basically tells you about the series. It says, in an era filled with danger, deception, and intrigue, Cassian Andor embarks on a path that will turn him into the rebel hero who will challenge the evil Galactic Empire. So yeah, I wanted to grab this one. Decided I'm not doing Andor in three and three quarter inch. There just aren't as many offerings. And um, eventually, if the, if the version of this in vintage goes... A bit cheaper, I may pick it up, but for the moment, I'm happy to keep rolling with Black Series representations of Vandor, so let's bust this one open and have a look. Before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, this is the way. All right, folks, here is Cassian Andor from the old Dani mission, the second sort of part of the first season of Andor. Um, accessory wise, he comes with the same blaster that came with the uh, Imperial, Imperial dude that I reviewed. Mm, thankfully, he does have a holster this time, so we can pop that in there. Once it, well, it looks like it's easier than it <laughs> looks like it's easy to fit in there. There it is. Not so bad. Not too bad. So we can get straight in and take a look at the figure. Head sculpt looks pretty damn solid. It does have a little bit of that sort of, that sort of sweaty sheen, um, which, you know, figures now are sort of getting away from that. This is probably from the time, you know, this is still, I think even 2022 it doesn't have a date on it. it. Might have been early, very early 2023, um, before the package changes, you know, they've sort of, they've tweaked a lot in the last six months. In terms of paint applications and uh yeah this one you could do with a little bit of a bit of a matte coat perhaps but otherwise it looks pretty good this is the third iteration of cassian even here's the uh the sort of standard cassian from andor obviously he was released as part of a uh, exclusive pack first and then we have the Rogue One version of Cassian. So there's some years that separating them here. Not sure how many yet. We'll possibly find out during the second season. But I like this look. I like the armor. Looks good. I like the, the sort of the black on green. I think it looks good with the black gloves. There's sort of the dirty, dirty brown boots. It's good. You know, I lot sort of yeah, I, I love the Andor series just for the fact that it's uh you know, it's a little bit sort of grittier. It's uh getting into the the deep depths of Star Wars Underworld, which is something George Lucas always wanted to explore in television. And only today we, do, we, do they have the budget to be able to do that, which is awesome. This is back when he wanted to start doing live action TV. It just, it wasn't something that was, you know, it was an expensive thing. It's something Lucasfilm and, and stuff didn't really have the funds for. Always been a big fan of the uh, the heroes in disguise. I think it's a cool cool idea. You know, obviously the uh, purposes of the mission on Aldani was very much an infiltrate and 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 
steel. <laughs> Uh, the hat doesn't come off. It's sculpted as a separate piece. But that's okay, it doesn't need to come off. Looks pretty good. Articulation wise, he's got a double ball joint in the neck and head, by the looks of things. No neck joint there. There is ball hinge in the elbows, our shoulders. Ball hinge in the elbows, the real elbows. A swivel in the wrist, ball hinge in the wrist as well. This one's in and out, and this one is up and down. So there's a joint in the torso there, nicely sort of hidden by the armor. Ball and socket in the thighs. Swivel cut at the top of the thighs as well. Single hinge in the knee. Hinges in the ankles and that sort of rocker, rocker pivot there. Which is good. Would have liked to have seen you know, a couple more of the troops from that episode or from those episodes. So you can have the little, the little team of insurgents with Cassian, I think that would have been cool. But yeah, very nice looking figure. The sculpt is good. The paint apps are clean. It's just aside from that sort of sweatiness that he has up, up on the up around the beard, it's sort of not even on the face, it's just that sort of facial hair. Obviously it's sort of a, a final pass with the sort of the shading. But hey, it's not a it's not a big deal. If you're that inclined to put a clear matte spray over the top of it just to uh, dull that down a little bit. Totally up to the individual. But yeah, very happy to have this one and the Imperial Officer that I spoke about and did review beforehand. Nice to have these two just to round out the, the, the Andor figures we have so far. The only one I skipped on was the Shore Trooper. I've uh, got a couple of Storm uh, Shore Troopers from Rogue One, so I'm, I'm quite happy to have them. If I do track down the Andor version at some point, I may grab it, but for now, I'm good. But thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. Please let me know what you think of uh, Cassian here. And uh, yeah, if you missed the review on this guy, go back and check that out. Very much appreciate it. And yeah, looking forward to getting these guys up on the Andor shelf. The Dark Times section of my Black Series display. So thank you for tuning in. Much appreciated. We'll see you on the next one. May the Force be with you, always.